Hi everyone and welcome along. Today we're going to have a go at painting a watercolour stained glass window and that is because we are going to do a fundraiser today for the restoration and repair of the stained glass windows in my mum's church. Now uh, this church is the heart of the community. It gave shelter to uh, residents who experienced terrible flooding in the last few months and I thought well it's the least I can do to put it over to you to see if you can give anything you can uh, because between now and the 16th of March any donations will be doubled by the Give to Go Green campaign. The link is in the episode notes below but for now grab your paints and let's get started. Okay, so I've got uh, an A5 piece of paper, which is roughly six by eight inches, and I've drawn a four inch square. And then what I've done is I've just marked out just a little dot at each, in at each inch interval. So it just helps me plan a, a rough kind of grid. So I'm going to do a nice sort of simple spring flower. Um, and so I'm just gonna begin by putting in three verticals, quite light in pencil because the lovely thing with stained glass windows is they sort of, they can be quite fluid and quite, quite lovely, but you just want to make sure you've got some kind of grid system. It's a bit like painting tiles, isn't it? Um, here we go. So yeah, I, I just felt like uh, my mum mentioned that they were fundraising and we don't really ever uh, do things like that on the channel normally um, but it's something I've seen her work really hard on as a general fundraising for this church and I thought well you know what I sing in the I sing in the choir at Christmas and I really enjoy that and it would be such a shame to see it go into disrepair so at the moment I'm just putting in some sort of slightly sort of soft curved triangular shapes and I am going to now sort of put in I don't know what let's draw a crocus because we drew some of those last week and it's always good to be seasonal so two curves and then I'm going to do a central shape because of course the stained glass window well mine my one anyway is going to be a simplified shape. There are some incredibly intricate stained glass windows that you see out and about, but this one's gonna be fairly simple. So now I'm going to just curve that down in there and make a little leaf. Why is it that one side is easy and the other side is always difficult? <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Well, that's what the grid is useful for. And don't forget, of course, if you need help with the drawing. I mean, the grid is the first thing I will say is, is the help. But also, you can pause the video and screenshot once we have finished and I think what we might do is just do some little crocus buds on the side as well. Okay I'm really happy with that and I think that's all we need our, our pencil ruler for. I'm now just going to give it a very light rubbing out just to remove some of the harsher pencil but saying that we are going to be painting in sort of strong lead lines so it's not going to be so much of a thing to get rid of the pencil lines. Now um, we're going to paint this in a sort of stylized fashion and I, I'm quite looking forward to this actually because painting lovely sort of sections, letting them dry really crisply. That, that appeals to me very much with watercolour. So I've got Imperial Purple here 
and I am going to use a size 2 brush, a little pointed round, and I'm going to begin quite dilute and I'll start with the, the bud on the side here. Now um, anyone who's been to see stained glass close up, like the really old type, it's amazing to look at it and you can sort of see the waves and the, not the lumps and the bumps, but just sort of undulations of the thicknesses of the glass as they're created and sort of placed in. So what I want to do is try and recreate that in watercolour. So I've painted that in nice and dilute. I'm going to let that dry partially. So whilst I do that, I'm going to paint in the next one here. Okay, and now a little bit more of a concentrated colour and I want to just place in a few waves of colour, which to me looks like when you look at stained glass you often see that slight wobble in it. I rather like that. Okay, so I'm going to go through, paint all the purple ones first. I'm now going to paint uh, the these little triangular shapes in green gold. A nice, just a nice sort of pattern design. So again, it's exactly the same premise. Get your colour nice and dilute. Paint in a section, then I find the amount of time to dr to sort of partially dry it feels like placing in the time spent placing in another section. Um, it is dilute, but I'm not using like tons of water. It's a very sparing amount of anything on there. And now just a bit more solid color. And that's going to blend in really nicely. So you can see in these triangles that I angled the sort of the lines, the blurred lines, uh, in different directions just to give an extra bit of interest. Okay, so now I'm going to use sap green for my leaves. So if you feel like you would like to donate whatever you can then just use the link in the episode notes below and it will take you to the give to go green uh, donation page and from there what is amazing and the reason I'm doing this fundraiser with a slight sense of not urgency about it but there is a time limit on the fact that give to go green are going to double they're going to match any donation given via the website um, and therefore doubling the amount that can be put towards the restoration and repair of the stained glass windows but they have to reach a target of £5,000 so we've got until March the what did I say I said the 16th of March that's right so if you're watching this after then well don't you worry but if you are watching this in the next few weeks, up until March 16th, 2024, then I would be so grateful. Uh, maybe see it as a, a tiny token of appreciation for all our YouTube tutorials. But of course, we will be extremely grateful for your general support of the channel because that keeps us going and it, it just makes mine and Ant's day whenever we get your lovely comments see your paintings on Instagram or Facebook or wherever. It's just wonderful and this community is really strong and vibrant and uh, we really appreciate you showing up every week for us, so thank you. So I'm just going to fill in the rest of these leaves. The best thing about this tutorial is if you were a little bit wobbly and just went outside the lines of fraction, don't worry because the last thing we're going to do is put in our outline detail and that is going to make all the difference and cover over any any uh, 
mistakes you might have made, so don't worry. I am going to complete the piece with a little bit of Cobalt Blue Deep and Payne's Grey, just diluted right down. And in fact, I'm going to go up to a size six brush, just make sure it's clean. And I want to just pop in a few sweeps of colour on the rest of it. If you keep a real light touch, you can just about get away with painting lightly over the edges. Whoops. I don't want any line to stand out too much. I think this is a really fun approach to painting actually. You might have a stained glass window you'd like to have a go at recreating. Maybe your front door has got stained glass in it or, or even your local church. Um, it makes it for a nice card design and also is it's just a really nice, uh, quite controlled painting that you can you can keep track of with the geometry and the shapes um, and just painting one section by section that that really appeals to some people and I, I can see why um, right we're going to let this dry 100% and then it's time to put in our lead lines I've got some fine tech silver metallic silver here and I thought this might be quite fun to mix in to my dark dark paint colour for my lines. So let's get that on and get some of my black. And I think that will look quite cool. You might already have a, a metallic that's nice and sort of dark pewter kind of colour like this. We need to make sure that we've got a, a decent amount. I'm totally aware that I'm going to end up with sparkly black paint in my palette, by the way, it's fine. I will live with the consequences. People will be getting ever so slightly sparkly commissions if they need any black in their painting. Okay. I think I'm going to go for a size zero brush, but to be honest, I might want a thicker brush um, because the lines on a stained glass window, they're not that thin. Um, but anyway, let's begin, shall we? So I'm just going to outline the colour. I like that thickness, that feels, that feels nice. And what's good is it's thin enough that if you wanted to come back in and re, sort of straighten it up or tidy it up, you could thicken it and it wouldn't be the end of the world like I'm just going to do now. I'm holding my brush, well, I've got it angled now. When I was doing those loops around the edge, I was going, yeah, I'm quite vertically when I'm doing it like this. Try and keep your paint sort of, it's got to be fairly liquid to be able to handle doing these long sections, but at the same time, we want it to be quite concentrated as well. We want it to be lovely and deep and dark. So the trade-off of that is you might end up going over it a few times, but I rather enjoy processes like this. I find this very relaxing. I am the opposite of a, a colouring in enthusiast. I like adding lines. And then I'm going to just sort of thicken that up a bit to make it look a little more authentic. Now, I don't know about you, but I am thrilled with how that looks. I just love, once you've put in the lines, 
the different sections with their different sort of um, blends and things really look like glass. I'm thrilled. Um, so I'm just going to now paint around the edge and the size zero brush has been working really nicely. So yeah, we can finish off the piece like this. Um, now, the other key thing to mention with this fundraiser is of course, give to go green are looking at um, repairing these windows so that heat and energy doesn't leak out of this ancient building. Um, and so it's a really worthwhile cause, not just for the sake of beautiful windows, but for the sake of the running of this really vital building in the community. Like I said, the area has experienced some terrible flooding recently and the church was there offering shelter for people in their real time of need. So give what you can, paint, show me your paintings on Instagram, I love to see them. And I'd love to see if you try a different flower. I think this could be a really fun series that you could try painting. And of course you could choose to add in all the lines or add in little like, you know, little breaks or, <laughs> or breaks in the glass where they've been repaired. I think it's just a really nice opportunity to get creative. And there we have our finished stained glass window. I'm so pleased with that and I really hope you enjoyed that one as well. Um, don't forget, for the fundraiser, the link is in the episode notes below. And between now and the 16th of March, we need to raise £5,000 so that Give to Go Green will match that amount and fund the repair and restoration of the stained glass windows. Thank you so much for watching. Um, as ever, we're so grateful for your support on the channel and we love your comments. We love to hear how you're getting on with these paintings. So stay in touch and I'll see you again next time. Bye.